Hey, what's up creators? Today, we're going to be getting you started with Unreal Engine 5 in under 15 minutes. So far, we have seen some absolutely beautiful results in games, film, architecture, and virtual reality. By the end of this video, you're going to be comfortable with Unreal Engine and have taken ready-made assets and started to build your own little mini scene. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so the very first thing that we need to do is we need to launch the engine. To do this, we do it within the Epic Games Launcher, going over to the Library tab. Inside of here, we can see our projects that we already have and the version of the engine. Also worth checking out is the marketplace where you can see all of the free assets. What I want you to do now though, is just make sure you've got the latest version installed and go ahead and open this. Within the Unreal Engine project browser, this is where we can create a new project using one of the various different templates we've got available to us. So all of these different templates are essentially just starting points for each of your projects, whether they're games, film, architecture. They come with different assets, different templates, and different project settings to help you get started. What I want you to do is go ahead and select a blank games project and feel free to leave all the settings as they are over here on the right hand side. Make sure that starter content is enabled, then give your project a name. Once you've done that, go ahead and hit create. The very first time that you create one of these projects and load up on Real Engine, it is going to take a long time. Take a minute, take some coffee, grab a glass of water, and you'll be in Unreal Engine in just a few minutes. One eternity later. Before we go into showing you Unreal Engine and getting you building your world, what I want you to do is just make sure you've got the exact same user interface that I do and everyone else generally uses. So to access this, we go up to Window, Load Layout, and then UE4 Classic Layout. The user interface is really straightforward and really easy to understand. First and foremost, we have our viewport. This is our 3D view into the world that we are creating. We can navigate through this using some pretty simple controls, those being W, A, S, and D, and the right mouse button to sort of pan around at the same time. If you're familiar with games, it's gonna be exactly the same as that. You also have your world outliner in the top right hand corner, which is going to give you a list of all of your different actors or assets that you have in your level, whether that be 3D models, lights, or more. Also, we have the details panel. Really straightforward, whenever you have an asset selected, it's going to show you and give you the ability to change all of the details for that object. With that little mini breakdown in place there, what I want you to do is have a little fly around your project and select a few assets. And what you're gonna see is every time you select them, you see all of those details and feel free to go in and change some of those. Settings such as location, rotation, scale, and we can move these all pretty easily. If it was something like a light, we'd be adjusting the intensity. Again, really straightforward, jump in, have some fun. Okay, now that we know how to fly through the viewport and we know a rough overview of this user interface, let's go ahead and show you exactly how you can place custom assets into your project from the content browser. So to find actors within the content browser, really straightforward. This content browser works just like a file explorer on your computer. You have your folders and your hierarchy on the left, or you can even see a view on the right here with asset thumbnails. For me, because we included the starter content, we can actually go to content, starter content, and then props. And inside of here, we're gonna see things like chairs, couches, lights, and more. And we can bring these into the scene really easily. All we need to do is just take this, drag it into the scene. And it is as simple as that. The content browser is going to contain absolutely everything you have loaded up and ready to use in this project. So what I want you to do now that we know how to add these assets into the scene is let's take a look at how we can move them. If we select the asset, we can see we get this little gizmo here. And with that, we can select the axis and we can move it on that axis. We can change between scaling, rotating or moving by using the little icons in the top right hand corner. We've got W for select and move. We have got E for select and rotate. And we've also got R for select and scale. And again, we're just selecting each of those three different axes there to scale up that object. Really straightforward. You can also grab the little white section here to scale the whole thing up or down uniformly if we're using the scale tool. 
Okay, so now that we know how to place assets and we've started to form a little mini scene, what we can do now is we can take a look at a few keyboard shortcuts and a few little things to help make this process easier. So first and foremost, if we have an object and we want to copy and paste it, really straightforward. We can either press Control C and Control V, which will copy and paste it. So when we move, we then have two separate meshes, or we can also, with the select tool selected, we can hold down Alt, drag out, and that is going to create a duplicate for us. Really straightforward stuff. Let's say you want to move this object with the camera. Again, really easy. All we need to do is hold down shift and then drag it and you can see that object is going to come with the camera. For those of you that are a little bit worried about getting used to these controls and working in 3D space, it is going to come naturally to you. You just need to spend some time getting comfortable and building a few scenes and then you will be all over this. One last thing that I want to show you when it comes to working in the viewport here is we also have snapping. So what we can see right now is if I get nice and close to this object, if I select this gizmo here and move it, you can see it is snapping along the grid. If you want to turn this off, really straightforward. All you need to do is go up to the top right hand corner here and press the little enable or disable snapping button. Once this is off, I can then move it around freely on any of the axes there. And I can do exactly the same thing for our rotation and our scale. So let's go ahead and turn that off for our rotation. And now we can rotate this freely. So with this, this is exactly how we're going to be building our world. So we're going to be going into this and we're just going to be meshing different assets together to build our world. This could not be easier. Okay, so let's start off by showing you how you can create a brand new level. Go to File, New Level, and then from here we can choose one of the templates. Or I can press Cancel on that. If I want to save the level that I've got right now, all I need to do is go to File and then Save Current Level As. Give this a name, level one or absolutely anything and press save. This is then going to be stored within your content browser wherever you placed it. For me, that was in my main content folder there and I can see I've got this level. If I want to open it up again, all I need to do is simply just double click on that level asset and I can do that. Alternatively, I can go to file, open level and select it from there. Okay, next up, we're going to be showing you how you can take some ready-made assets from the Epic Games Marketplace and the Megascans library and bring them into your zine to form your very own level. Let's hop back into Unreal. Okay, so now that we're inside of Unreal Engine, getting ready-made assets is done in two ways. We can do this through either the Epic Marketplace or we can also use the Epic Megascans library, both of which has a lot of 3D assets. The Megascans library is just going to be for your 3D models, whereas the marketplace is going to allow you to get props, textures, and visual effects, sounds, absolutely everything. So let's start off then with the Epic Games marketplace. If we go over to our Epic Games launcher, we can see what we've got available to us. We can access this by going to Epic Games launcher, Unreal Engine and then Marketplace. If we go to Browse, we can see we've got blueprints, we've got characters, we've got environments, we've got music, we've got absolutely everything. So let's say we want to take something like some furniture, for example. We can just simply go to Search Products and then go and search for, say, furniture. So furniture. And then with this, because we love free stuff, we're gonna go ahead and hit max price free because you know free assets are always the best kind. And then from this, I can go and check them out. I can read the description, I can see some of the images, but most importantly, I can press that free button there. And then once that's done, what we can do is we can go and press add to project. And with this, we choose our project, add it in, it's going to download, which shouldn't take too long. For this one, it's only 0.6 gigabytes, so relatively small. And then that is going to automatically add it into our project ready to use, providing we chose the project that we have there. So what we're going to do, we're going to pause the video here just for a second, and we're going to hop back into Unreal Engine once these are imported in just a moment. 
Okay, once this is finished downloading, we can find these assets we've brought in from the marketplace in our content browser. Generally, it's going to be in a folder relatively named to what you just downloaded. For me, this is content and free furniture pack down at the bottom here. And if I go to my meshes folder, I can see all of the 3D models that came with this. So I can take things like my dining tables, chairs, toilets, televisions, all of these are going to be available to me here as part of this pack. So what you can do is you can head over to the marketplace, download all kinds of different assets, and then bring them into your 3D world. And there's lots and lots of 3D assets. With that being said, we can see what we can do with the marketplace. There's not just 3D assets in here. There is also textures, music, programming, absolutely everything. Now, if you want high quality 3D assets for your project of the photorealistic kind, that's where we want to be taking a look at the Epic Mega Scans library. With that being said, to access this, we can go up to our window and then open up Quixel Bridge. Inside of here, we are going to be able to find collections of high quality photogrammetry data that we can bring into Unreal Engine and use free of charge. So let's go ahead and take a look at some 3D assets. To do this, top left hand corner, 3D assets, and then let's take a look at some building assets. And what I might do is take some pillars. I can see we've got lots of different types here and bringing them in could not be easier. All we need to do is click on these, press download. We can, of course, change the quality level down there. I'm happy with medium. And then once it's finished downloading in the bottom right there, what we're going to be able to see on the left hand side in our content browser is we are going to have a mega scans folder. So we're just going to wait for that to finish downloading. And then what we need to do is press add. And once you have added that, you can now see we've got our mega scans folder and we've got a folder specifically for this asset. And I can take this pillar and I can bring it into my scene. And with this, I can scale it up. I can make it bigger. I can do lots and lots of fun stuff here. But what we can see is we have got access to high quality 3D assets using this Quixel bridge. It's not just pillars. There's everything. There's doors, there's walls, there's street pieces, there's nature pieces. There is so, so much in here. And Epic Games are constantly working on getting more content available to you in here. So let's say again, I want this piece. All I need to do, press download, give us a couple of minutes or a minute or two, depending on your internet connection, press add and it's going to be available to you. That's it for a quick intro to the user interface. I hope you have enjoyed it. By now you should be comfortable and you should be able to start building your very first world. And what I'd like you to do off the back of this video is I'd like you to take lots of assets, start creating a bigger world, just making lots of assets and getting really, really comfortable with those controls. What I'd also like to see is for you guys and girls to share your work in our Discord server so we can see what you're creating. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in that Discord server. There's over 5,000 like-minded developers just like yourself. If you'd like to support more high-quality training just like this, be sure to check out our Patreon page. You can unlock exclusive perks such as early access to our videos, easy-to-use game templates, and live mentoring with myself. That's it for this video though, I hope you did enjoy it. As always, stay awesome, keep creating, Virtus signing out.